Today we're going to show you how to install a carbon fiber spoiler on this BMW G20. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. We love the BMW G20. We think it looks fantastic, but one area that it really lacks in is the trunk. You see, on these G20s, BMW decided to do one of two things. Option number one, don't put a spoiler at all. It looks like it's missing something. Option two, put this teeny tiny wimpy little spoiler, kind of like I had on the F80, which isn't going to work either. So today, we're going to put some Keys carpet on to make it look like this. Now for us, the first step of the process is to get Wimpy off the car. So to do that, I'm gonna start with a heat gun and we're gonna soften the molding tape up. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some fishing line and it's going to cut through the molding tape. Once you're done that, you're gonna have some molding tape left on the car and I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to remove it. Now that the tape is heated up, we're going to slide some fishing line underneath and what I like to do is I like to pull up a little bit so that we're not putting any excess pressure or anything on the painted trunk. So just work it back and forth just like this. Once you've cut all of the adhesive in half, Go through and just carefully lift it up. Sometimes it'll still be a little bit stuck. And there's Wimpy. Now, typically what's left is all of this nasty molding tape. And if you've removed this before, you know that it can be a little bit of a challenge, especially if you're just doing it with your hand. Basically what you do is you just roll the adhesive off. However, we have a little trick for you to make this go significantly faster. It's very safe, very quick, and it's gonna save you a heck of a lot of time. Now the product that we're going to use today to help speed this process along is a little product from 3M, and basically it is an adhesive removing wheel. The way that it works is you put it on your drill, you make sure your drill is set to a low speed, then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it spins like this, and again, it's going to mimic your hand going like this. And as you use it, it's gonna wear down just like a pencil eraser and it's not gonna destroy your paint. All right, now that we have most of the adhesive removed, we're going to use some 70% isopropyl alcohol and a brand new clean microfiber towel. And we're gonna clean off all the rest. And look how nice that came out. Now we might have to go back and touch up some spots with the wheel, like right here I missed a little bit, but no damage, it came off with ease, and my finger's not black and blue. At this time, what you can do is you can take your double-sided adhesive and you can apply it to your spoiler. You can use whatever kind you like, but just so you know what we like to use, we like to use the Scotch um, Extremely Strong 3M double-sided tape. We use it on everything and it never fails us. So to give you a sense of what I did, basically I'll lay out a strip over here and it's going to overhang. Then I take a knife and I cut it and then I cut it back ever so slightly just so when everything is installed, you don't see a little edge from the tape. And as you can see, I did a strip along the top and a strip along the bottom. After you've done that, you can do your test fitting. So you have a sense of how this is going to sit. And this looks amazing and I can't wait to get it installed. Now something that's a little bit different with this spoiler than a typical F30 is as you'll see, it hugs the corner, which is pretty cool. And that's why we need that tape for the, the bottom side of the trunk and also the top. 
Now what I like to do right before I apply it, I like to clean it off one more time with alcohol and then dry it off with a clean microfiber towel. We'll do one final test fit. Okay, everything looks really good. All right, and that is, that's great where that's at. Now what we're going to do, we're going to peel both sides of the tape, but do not fully remove it. So we're gonna peel this, and we're gonna fold it down. We're gonna peel this, and we're gonna fold it up. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna take the tape, you're gonna peel it down, and on this side, you're gonna peel up. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tack it in place with the edges, and then we're going to carefully peel off the tape on the bottom and also the top. And the reason that we do both sides is because sometimes you'll be pulling this along, pulling it along, and it'll snag and it'll break. And instead of having to pull the spoiler off, remove the adhesive and start over, you can just grab the other side. Check our gaps. Everything looks nice and even. I'll start to pull this off. Start to tack the top down. I'm gonna switch and do a little bit of the bottom. Continue along the top. Okay. Make sure that the top is nice and snug. Okay. And we're just gonna press and hold it for a couple seconds, then move and then just press and hold it a couple seconds. And just make sure that everything is fully adhering. At this point of the process, everything is fully installed and it looks incredible. Check it out. And as you can see, this carbon fiber spoiler for this G20 BMW looks phenomenal and it goes really well with the other carbon accents that are currently on the car. Now for more information on these products and all the tools we use, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.